Hey everyone, uh, in this tutorial we are going to talk about the checkbox control. So, uh, if you've seen my past few videos, you're probably familiar with the setup with the grid with two columns and two row, three rows. So we are going to use the same setup for this demo as well. Okay. Um, so first of all, let's add a checkbox to our grid. And let's get a name. I'm going to call this checks one and get a content of hello. All right. All right, it's kind of too small, so I'm going to do something different for this time. I'm going to wrap this with a view box and let the view box resize the checkbox for us. Okay. Now we've got the nice large checkbox. Okay, so the first property we're going to talk about is enabled. So default is yes, I mean true. And for some reason, if you want to uh, want to change it to disabled, uh, feel free. Sometimes you may need to say you have some options that you want to. You want the user to have a certain level of security before they are available to the user. So in those scenarios, yeah, I can see that, you know, some of the options being grayed out or disabled. So again, the property is, uh, is enabled and the values are true, false. So if you select false, then the box will be grayed out and it won't let you we won't let the user to do any changes. But the default is again, it's true. So we'll stick with default. Okay, uh, the next property is click mode. So click mode, actually, let me run this first. Let's check the current status, the current mode. So right now, if I click this box, so let me try again. I click, it doesn't do nothing. But when I release the mouse, then it checks. So that's the release mode. Okay, that's going to be part of the click mode property. So that's the default mode, release. And then we have a mode that says press this guy here. As soon as you press the checkbox without releasing it, it will uh, check the box. So if I press this, it checks right away without releasing the mouse button. Okay. So that's the press and uh, the other one is hover. And uh, this one actually is pretty self-explanatory. As soon as you hover over the box, it will check the box. And on the second try, it will uncheck it. So check, uncheck. Okay, that's the behavior of the hover mode. So you got three pro three um, modes for click, right? Okay. So before we move on to the next two properties, is checked on this tree state. I want to do a little groundwork. Um, I want to add a style to this checkbox. So checkbox that style and add my style tag and set the target type to checkbox. And inside my style, I'm going to add, a, add triggers. So the first trigger is going to be type of property and the property I'm looking for is this guy is checked. So is checked. And the value we're looking for Let's start with null. 
at the value is null. In that case, I want text to say null. Instead of hello, I want it to say null. So um, setter property content and the value is going to be say null. Okay, so uh, that's one trigger. Let's copy and paste this trigger a couple more times for each uh, value. And one more time. And let's correct this. Let's, uh, so the second value is true. And the third value is going to be false. And in this case, in the true value, actually, you know what? I want to get a better example. Um, so let's say you're, you have a car and the null value, let's say the ignition position and the true value is engine on and false value should say um, engine off. Okay, let me get rid of this content here and the default value is false so engine off popped up here now i want to change the state of this checkbox to three state so is three state and you want to say yes in other words true oh i already have that over here. okay so we already have that mm. All right, let's run this. So let's click on the checkbox. Okay, when it's checked, it says engine on. And when it's uh, null, it says ignition. Uh, and engine off when it's unchecked. Okay, so we've got three states in our checkbox. Now what I want to do is add a few more checkboxes down below here. I'm going to go over here, add a stack panel. And uh, I want to position this in grid.row1 and have this span two rows, grid.row span two. Okay, so it's going to cover this area here. Okay, so I'm going to add three checkboxes here. Checkbox one, um, let's give it a name. So this is going to be checkbox two because we already have number one up here. So checkbox two, let's say um, this one. Um, has a content of, um, let's say, audio, enable audio. Okay, let's wrap this text, I mean, stack panel in a view box also, so we can see it comfortably. Works and that now we got to cut and paste this grid address from here to here because that's apparent now. All right, so that's the first checkbox. Let's add another one. Ah, oh, damn it! All right, so messing with me. And let's change the names of the checkboxes to 
three and four. Okay, let's say enable vipers and enable AC. Okay. All right, so we have three checkboxes. So we want to control these checkboxes with this first checkbox, our master checkbox. Uh, imagine it's the key of your car, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and add some event handlers to our checkbox. So the first event is the checked event we are going to uh, look into. Let's create that and add the event handler. Let's go to code behind. So when the engine is on, when the checkbox is, is checked, what we want to happen? We want to enable and check all the uh, checkboxes. So all three checkboxes will get, uh, let's grab the names. So checkbox two. So we want this to be is enabled, is checked, true, and uh, is enabled. Well, actually, let's enable first before we check it. So checkbox two that is enabled, true. In case it's disabled, so we want to enable first and then check it. Let's copy and paste this two more times for the other two checkboxes. And let's change the names. So three, three, four, and four. Okay, so let's run this and check it out. So if I check the checkbox, all three enables and Get checked. So that's good. The next thing I want to do, actually, I want to disable it by default. I'm going to go into checkboxes, and the default state will be false. So disabled. Oops, wrong property is enabled. Okay. Let's copy and paste this to the other checkboxes. I'm missing a double quotes at the end. Didn't copy that as we were copying. So, okay, the default is disabled. Let's run this again. And if I click it, it enables it and checks all the, turns on all the uh, options we have here. Okay, so that's all good. Let's uh, add the second event handler, and that is unchecked. So the new event handler this is going to be the opposite direction. So in here, we're going to copy and paste this whole thing and paste it in here. Instead of true, we want to say false. Total opposite. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's run this again and test it out. So let's first enable and check, and then ignition doesn't do anything yet because we haven't applied anything. And engine off turns off everything. Okay, so for the uh, Let's get to the third one, which is the event, I believe it's called indeterminate. Okay, and let's create a new event handler. So when the ignition is on, when the key is in the ignition, um, audio, we can turn it on. 
vipers we can turn on ac probably don't want to turn on the ac because that's going to drain the battery and you don't want to get stuck all right so let's mm, yeah okay i mean audio drains the battery too but it takes longer so we'll turn on these two and we'll let this one off so for that event handler um we'll do copy this two check boxes and paste it in here and the last one should be false okay let's try that out so let's turn it on turn the ignition on while the key is in and off so engine on engine key in the ignition but the engine is not running and engine off all right okay so that's all i got for checkbox for this demo uh if you have any questions please drop in the comment section i'll answer it as soon as i can get a chance okay thank you very much take it easy